So... If you're a fan of these new figures, the Amiibos, um, what's your opinion on the fact that some of them are almost impossible to find, and if you can find them, they cost an arm and a leg? Does that seem right? It just, it, it really bugs me, you know? These things, which retail normally at $12.99, which for $12.99, these look really nice. Um, you know, I've already shown the Marth one out. Um, I think they look really, 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 really badass. But the resellers kind of put a stranglehold on the market, and unless if you pre-order them immediately, like as soon as they come out and guarantee your your figure, everyone's going to buy them underneath you and resell them at a much higher price. Um, Rosalina and Luma, or Rosalina and Luma, whatever you uh, call her, um, she's going to be probably the most expensive one at the moment. But now Wait 4 has been announced about a week ago or so. And... Um, I think they already got released available um, in the UK for pre-order, and they're already sold out, supposedly. Um, I don't know how many days they were out for, but basically that means that, uh, you know, there's a chance that when they come out here in America, within a day, they're going to be gone. So, <laughs> you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place on, you know checking every day to find out if they're going to be available that day you know because everyone else is doing the same thing and what really baffles me is how some of these people can pre-order a mass quantity you know like i'm talking about you know more than five or six you know there was one that supposedly as, as i guess you've heard pre-ordered over a hundred you know, I'm not sure if he really intends to keep them for himself or sell them at $100 a piece. But I don't know what we're going to do about it. <laughs> but it seems kind of uh, shitty if you ask me. So the question is, you know, with Wave 4 coming, as a fan who at least wants one or more of these, you know, Wave 4 is, in my opinion, the most interesting wave that they've done. Um, you know, they have Lucina, Robin, um, Ness, Pac-Man, I think there's also Charizard and Wario, but those initial four right there are going to be ones that are going to be in high demand. I mean, they can guarantee you. Um, and since Pac-Man is one that isn't even a Nintendo character, he's from Namco, there might be a limit on how long they can sell him for anyway. So there's a, almost a guarantee that this one run might be all we're going to get out of him. Um, as for the others, who knows? But um, this is not looking good. <laughs> um... Anyone who wants to capitalize on these, well, if they're fast enough, then yeah, they could make a good bit of money because the figures themselves are $12.99 and most people sell them for at least double, if not more. So basically, you're paying the money right then and there and you're going to get a lot of money out of it, guaranteed depending on which one it is. You know, Wave 3 is pretty much sold out. I mean, they're coming out soon, but like... They're not going to show up. You're not going to see them. Because um, all of them are pretty much ta uh, claimed and called for. So. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. You know? Like this guy right here. This guy right here. Had to get him from Japan. And then I found out that they're going to re-release him anyway. Which is cool. 
but uh, not really happy. Um, I mean, good for Nintendo though. I mean, they're making a lot of money off of it, but <sighs> so we'll just see what's gonna happen. But uh, if anyone wants to get anything from Wave Four. Uh, you better keep uh, keep checking every day to find out when they're gonna get released because it's one of the I think it's gonna be one of those things that they're gonna be quietly announced and once word catches on that's it they're gone so I would uh, keep looking keep checking and um, all I can say after that is, um, good luck. You'll need it. <laughs>